night for us tonight. Drew's a presentation night. We've all clearly seen um, Mick Fanning walking around saying good day to, uh, to everyone. But um, for those of you who aren't into surfing, quite well, like myself, he's a three-time world champion. Um, you know, in an era where Australia's been largely dominated now by uh, a Brazilian and an American influence prior to that, he's probably the only person other than Andy Owens, I'd say, that's taken it to Kelly Slater over the last um, 20 odd years. And the thing that he's probably most renowned for in Australian sport is, um, well, there's two things I would say that I think about when I hear about Mick Fanning. One is overcoming adversity um, throughout his life. And the other one's humility. Um, I know lots of friends of Mick's um, personally, and anyone that ever comes across the guy um, all relay the same message about what a super guy and what a great representation for Australian sport, not only surfing, but Australian sport on the whole, because surfing is such a global sport. This guy's like a walking representative of uh, Australian culture and Australian, Australian sports, you know, sports people, and the way that he carries himself um, throughout the world and in his um, chosen industries, um, it's huge. So. Big, uh, big blues welcome for uh, Yeah, yeah, for me it was, um, it was all about preparation. Um, you know, I probably wasn't as, as talented as the other guys like Kelly Slater's or Andy Irons or anything like that, but um, I just knew if, if I had everything prepared then I didn't have any doubts when I went into this arena. And, um, and I think it gives you just, especially where you guys are going to be on Wednesday night. It's the biggest platform in the world. And, um, you know, you, you know you've done the work and so you, you can trust in what you've done and all your skills and um, it sort of just gets rid of all the doubts. That's, that's what it was for me. I, uh, so, yeah, I always just made sure that I, you know, did the things right and just trusted in, uh, trusted in my abilities and, and trusted in my decisions. We'll call him out by number, James Tedesco, fullback. Yeah. Nick Cotrick. Yes. Troll Mitchell. Nathan Cleary. <laughs> Cameron Murray. Hey. Ah. It's a good old 
<laughs> Angus Croydon. Eight eighth man, Ryan Madison. Oh. <laughs> and our own little top gun, Victor Randley. Yeah. <laughs>